We're a group of young engineers who enjoy challenging projects and really are just out of the box thinkers. Each of us don't like to be stuck in the cookie cutter applications. We like to branch out, we like to challenge ourselves. We see the high risk and the high reward in it. With traditional automation and traditional robotics, there's a lot of challenges that come into play uh, with taking an existing floor plan and existing workspace and trying to transition that into something that's fenced, that's safe. So a lot of infrastructure that's added to the system to kind of bend around the way we want to do the automation. The KMR EWA is a mobile robotic platform provided by KUKA and it takes kind of all the best pieces that they provide and combines them into one package. The robot we're dealing with in this project is one that can provide a human collaboration and also work in the same space. Whereas traditional robots, you're having to isolate it. In this case, uh, the operator literally can hand the robot a part and the robot can hand the part back. A robot's utilization is kind of limited when you bolt it into the floor. In this case, we can take the collaborative robot work on a specific piece for a while and then we can move that to another location to work on another machine and actually get near 100% utilization uh, that is not usually attainable with traditional robots. It is a mobile robotic platform with a collaborative robot on it. A lot of the other products that we saw when we were doing some research on it were one to two inches of accuracy, which you need it to be down to that five millimeter, that one millimeter accuracy to make having a robot make sense. The KMR EWA uses a technology called SLAM, Simultaneous Localization and Mapping. So basically it can identify where it is on a map that we've taught it by driving the robot around in space in your plant floor. The wheels are pretty cool. It allows it to traverse exactly left, right, uh, in an X, Y location and do zero point turns. So it's very fluid, very flexible. We've been very impressed with everything that we've seen from it. This is so good because you get to do a process, move on to the next process, much like a person would do. One of the main benefits of the KMR EWA is its ability to kind of feel and touch and see much like a human can. That's very difficult to accomplish with the traditional robot system. One of the main things the customer wants out of this is safety. So the KMR EWA has outfitted with two safety scanners that are put at opposed corners on the unit that allow it to utilize the mapping but also utilizes itself for safety aspects and detect human or objects in general and either move around that object or stop in place and then resume when that person or object has been removed from the process. Sunrise OS is basically a new development package that is used to program the collaborative robots from KUKA. Uh, it allows us to utilize a, a programming language that's common to most engineers coming out of school called Java, an object-oriented programming language. One of the strengths is reusable code. It's one of the programmer's dreams is to not have to rewrite code every time you have to do a very similar process. We're able to utilize those technologies to kind of uh, reuse that code and then work that into our system without reinventing the wheel. We originally talked with the customer that was looking to take their existing process that's very uh, labor intensive, taking spools uh, that are completed, and once that spool is completed, they need to pull that full package off, put it on a cart, pick up an empty core, put it back into the process, and then start re-spooling. Well, there are hundreds and hundreds of these winding machines in their plant, it's a very difficult process to maintain day in and day out. So in the KMR EWA allows us to do a very similar process as the human is to kind of step in, take a fully completed spool once it's done, and then put an empty core back into its place and then move on to the next station. And it can revolve from line to line, much like the human operator does. Uh, when we calculated the ROI for the traditional system and for the KMR EWA, we're actually at half the cost. And the KMR EWA gives us the best flexibility and the most uptime for the system than the traditional system in this case. There's really nothing like it on the market today. It's really a unique technology that we want to utilize. So working with KUKA systems is, uh, is actually kind of a, a, a joy for us. We enjoy working with the systems. They're very robust. They're very advanced uh, over other systems that are out there. It's got a place within an industry that, that does not exist in the moment. 
I think mobile robotics is really going to open up a lot of business for fit stores. The future is wide open for mobile robotics and collaborative robotics, so we're happy to kind of be at the forefront of this mobile and collaborative robotics. It's so new that nobody really knows what to do with it, and I think that's sort of true for collaborative robots and mobile robotics, even individually, but together it's people trying to figure out where does this fit best. You know, you've got your major industries like textile or automotive or aerospace, I mean even food and beverage. It can probably go into just about anything. We just have to sort of retrain ourselves how we're thinking about robotics. The way I see it is where our imagination leads us is where this will be able to go. Orange Intelligence